good evening. This is uh, my name is Jay, Lieutenant Jared Vitezzi, the Tyre Brewer CFA. This afternoon, I had a fire call come through on the page at uh, approximately three, three o'clock this afternoon of a uh, tanker rollover on the corner of Western Port Highway and Frankston from this road. On arrival, I did notice uh, we had a uh, semi-trailer petrol tanker rollover on its left-hand side coming around the roundabout. We did have a job here about approximately 18 months ago, so doing this job again was basically eyesight, so we just sort of copied it around. On arrival, basically I called for pumpers two, and I called for tankers five. I called for class B foam module because of the volume of the petrol leaking from the tanker. When I did the recce and the size up of the job, we have a drain that runs uh, north south of uh, Western Port Highway. Last time we had the incident here, that we had diesel and petrol run basically all the way down to Blue Scope Steel. So this time here, my main priority this time was to bund that area. Bunding meaning I wanted to get sand trait into those drains so I can sort of stop that petrol from going any further. In this case we were pretty lucky because most of the petrol and the diesel was coming from the vent hole, so there was actually no, no hole in the side or breach in the tank itself. So basically the two things I was prioritising as I got on scene was to put a B-class foam layer of the whole incident so I had no vapours, no sparks coming from the, from the incident. And the second one was to bund all the drains of course and all sort of the sand in the uh, bundings. When we started getting to the into a complex of the incident, I started getting the MCV and some controlling, I started getting an ops officers in. I ended up starting to sectorise this in three different spots because the, the job just started to get too big for myself. Once we sectorised this, it was a lot easier for the incident controller myself to run the job from the MCV. Once we started getting the foam layer down, it was a pretty much wait and see for the decant job. What the decant job is basically, it's a, it's a company that comes from IS. They come out and they take the petrol, remove the petrol from the tankers from a safe way. What they're doing tonight, as you can see behind me, is basically we've got a fire crew on protection. They're going to get on top of that tanker and they're going to drill holes in every every compartment. What they do there is they'll get a, a diaphragm pump and start sucking air for every fuel out of it. So approximately in there at the moment we're looking you know, anywhere between the 39 and 40,000 litres of petrol and diesel. So at this stage basically there's no injuries. The driver himself came across, uh, he was fine, just a bit shaken. He's at home now so he's, he's fine. On scene we've got approximately 40 firefighters still. Uh, we'll start downsizing guys now because due to the, it's just quiet night and the, the time it's consuming on uh, taking the fuel out, they're talking between five to six hours to start removing the fuels. So for hazards wise for that area, we're lucky, it's a mild night, very dewy and it's same to six degrees Celsius. So we don't have any wind, we don't have any rain, so we've got everything basically captured in the one spot. This will go till early hours in the morning, so the residents in Tyve are still safe. My biggest concern, as I said, was the vapours and the winds. So at this stage, the uh, B class has been put down. My firefighters have been fed, so they've had, I've had Nary Warren Catering also out here, which has done a fantastic job of getting my guys fed and, and uh, hydrated. So for the next approximately six to eight hours, is basically we're going to start pulling the um, petrol and the uh, diesel out of this uh, tanker. And hopefully uh, mid-morning we can start uh, looking at rolling over the tanker, which uh, we'll end up getting a crane in to lift up back on the uh, wheels and it'll get towed away. So EPA side of it, we're, most of the drains have actually been bundled, so we actually are quite lucky how far the, the petrol has got. We've got the Mets, uh, Richmond MFB foam train on site, and they've got their pot as well, just in case we need to use any more foam. We've probably used approximately 19,000 litres of B-class foam, as is, as we stand. We did cover the whole scene pretty much straight away. Thank you very much.